Welcome to CTV's broadcast of East China High School Sports, presented to the community by Magda. Let's join our announcers now for all the action of East China High School Sports. on tap, Jesse. Who we got tonight? Uh, Lamphere Rams tonight here so, at our East China Stadium. Mariners are 4-1, and one, and what are we playing for tonight? Playing for the Max Silver Championship tonight. Yep. Uh, I think the major theme of the game, if anybody was in Marysville, is simply hold on to the ball. Yeah, hold on to the ball, and you'd like to see them secure their run game and just run a nice, clean, crisp game. That something we haven't seen quite yet this year from the Mariners. Yep. Uh, Rams have been here two weeks in a row. They beat St. Clair last week, I believe, by a touchdown. Uh, Mariners come into this game after dominating Marysville in Marysville. And uh, like I said, the, the stop turnovers. And uh, like Je like you said, Jesse, control the ball. Yeah, yeah just be, be crisp, be clean. Uh, you know, you'd like to see them get ahead a little bit, get some of those younger players some more experience. And uh, just come out here and just keep our momentum moving forward. Then uh, we will be on the road next week at Clintondale. And then to finish off the regular season, we'll be home against Centerline in two weeks. And then the final week of the regular season against Duran. And hopefully, if we can do what we normally think we'll do as Mariners, we can have a few uh, home games for playoff time. Well, that's what we're playing for. So we'll uh, jump upstairs into the booth and announce the offense and defense. We'll be right back. When a company can be identified on a global scale by revealing nothing but the shape of its logo, it's considered an iconic brand. For over 100 years, the Chevy boat tie remains just that, iconic. The mark of a cultural phenomenon, connecting work hard, play hard loyalists from across the globe and right here at home. To experience the Chevy phenomenon and find new roads, visit LaFontaine Chevrolet Buick GMC.com today. Thought about changing your job, finding a place to work that's close to home, a place that cares about you and your family? Well, Magna's hiring. Hi, my name is Anthony Finley. I'm the finance intern here at Magna Electric Vehicle Structures in St. Clair, Michigan. I've never been so honored to tell people where I currently work. Um, I, love the t I love the team, I love the facility, and I love everything else about this place. And I'm really proud of the investment that I've made on my future. Good evening, everybody. Craig Zimmerman, Jesse Laboon, Friday night from Mariner Field here, and here come the Mariners out of the tunnel. Starting offense for the Mariners. Tight end tonight, number 84, junior Colin Gabler. Tackle, number 79, junior Noah Northrup. Guard, number 90, Kyle Rickert. Center tonight, number 77, senior Nick May. The other guard, number 51, junior Derek Mischoff. The other tackle, number 66, senior Will Steyer. The wide receiver tonight, number 14, senior Parker Atkinson. And the backfield, number 10, junior Cooper Letson. The halfback, senior number 18, Cam Malewski. The fullback, number three, senior Evan Jones. And rounding out to Mariner starting offense, sophomore quarterback, number 17, Lincoln Osterlin. And on the decent defensive side of the ball, Craig, tonight something that the uh, Mariner fans and team have been looking forward to all year, watching this defense perform like they have been. Uh, defensive end, Colin Gable, number 84, a junior. Tackle, Jeremy Westrick, 55, a senior. Evan Jones, number three, a senior defensive tackle. Defensive end, Derek Mitchell playing both sides of the ball, 51, a junior. Linebackers tonight will be Noel Ross, number 11, a senior. And number 68, Bodie Ramsey, also a senior. At the corner position tonight, we'll have Nick Rufino, number nine, a sophomore, and Anwar Sufian. Number five, a junior. At the safety position tonight, we'll have number 14, a senior, Parker Atkinson. Number eight, a junior, Danny Vandeviver. And Dakota Droptini. Number 24 is a sophomore. As we talked about in the pregame, Mariners come in four and one in week number six. So here we go. Mariners won the coin toss and deferred. They will kick off to start the contest here tonight. Here we go, the Rams of Madison Heights Lamphere. Another good. Oh good boy, kick nice, there. nice Sanchez, one. Sanchez out of the two. Number 22 up the sideline. Oh, got a little room. Nice return of about 32 yards up to the 33 yard line. Mariner's getting a little lucky there, I think, Craig. There was a big hole for him to open up. A little speed, and he would have been uh, off for six, I think. Jaden Klaus on the return. Third down and 10, Rams, 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 
Ball spotted at the 34 yard line. Game time temperature tonight, 66 degrees. Quarterback Aiden Kraskowski up the gut. Give him two or three, cross to about the 37 yard line. Nine Nicofino, number 68. Bodie Ramsey in the tackle for the Mariners. Gonna give him three on the play, second and seven. Mariner defense was super strong last week against the Vikings. Well, they sure were. It was, that, was, that was a nice display there. Got a wide out, one right, two left, up the gut. This time number five, Nico Johnson. There's a lot of Mariners in on that tackle. Jesse, number one, the quarterback. How about if we just call him Aiden G? Aiden G, I'm good with that. Look at his name. Yeah, I think you're right, Craig. There's a lot of vowels. <laughs> Aiden G. Aiden G it is. There we go. Third and four from the 40. Crow to the far side. Near side, Timion and Hamill. From the shotgun is G. Handoff, five up the gut. Going to be a first down, looks like. Yes, he gets up yeah. to the 45. Brought down by 68, Bodie Ramsey. Seems like so far there's been some decent holes there in that offensive line allowing the uh, Rams to basically run right up between the tackles. That was Nico Johnson on the carry again. Got some good size uh, linemen there on the Rams side. From the shotgun, two to the left, one to the far side. Johnson, the single man in the backfield. Hand off Johnson up the gut. Got some running room. Give him about 10. Yeah, not close to another first yeah. down for the Rams. Again, nothing fancy yet for yeah. the Rams. Just kind of open a hole and go. Yeah, just relying on their big offensive lineman. Boy, 65 looks he's about 6'2". What do you think he goes? 220? Yep. Ball spotted on the 44-yard line, first and 10. 76 is big, 55 is big, yeah. The uh, Marine City defensive line definitely have their work cut out for them tonight. Timion and Hamill to the far side. Johnson to the right of G. Man in motion this time is Zink. Five up the middle. About seven or eight more. Brought down by number 11, Noah Ross. Gonna give him eight. Second and two, second and three. Where are they spotting it? Second and three from the 37. <laughs> Timmy on and Hamill right. Johnson with G from the shotgun. And off five, Johnson. Another couple. Four or five more. It'll be a first and 10 from inside the 35, call to 33. So far, the Rams have no problem on the ground, just sticking to what's working for them so far. Johnson comes off. Ward comes on. Here we go with a first and 10 from the 33. Two and four go right. Ward lined up next to the quarterback. And off this time, Ward left side. Met by a whole host of Mariners, maybe about three yards, four. They're gonna give him three right, lined up right at the 30. Initial contact made by Nick Rafino. Something a little different there. They faked the dive inside and tried to go outside a little bit. Good job by uh, Nick to contain that, turn him back inside, get some help from uh, the orange and black there on the inside. Second, 
Wide to the right this time, Josh Crow. To the left. Handoff, sweep. Got to the corner. Give him four or five. That time it's Timian. It's like Parkins, Parker Atkinson on the tackle. 55, uh, Jeremy, Jeremy Westrick was quick to the backfield. Just uh, running back, but just barely escaped him. Third and three from the 26, far side hash mark. Evan Jones comes off. As Owen Jacobs joins the Marine City defense out there. Crow comes near side, two to the far side. In the backfield this time it's Johnson, number five. Up the gut, got the first down and then some. Cross to about the 18. Bodie Ramsey on the stop. Owen oh, Jacobs also in on the tackle. And so far the Rams just basically staying right with inside yep. that, you know, with inside the, the tight end, just keeping it on the ground, have not gone to the air yet. No need to really. Haven't had to. No, yeah. You get four or five yards of run here. You just keep it on the ground, chew the clock up, and just keep picking away at first downs. First and 10 from the 18, Johnson in the backfield to right. Johnson left side that gets about two or three. Give him two, second and eight. About the least amount of yards he's gotten on a play. Yeah. Again, good job by 55. Jeremy Westrick was able to just penetrate, penetrate that line. Barely missed him. And I think you're going to see some adjustments being made here soon. And the Mariners are getting back there. They're getting penetration. They're just uh, kind of unfortunately going with the blocks, opening up those holes for the Rams. Johnson, lone man in the backfield. Two left, one right. Man in motion. Five up the middle. Ooh, good shoestring tackle there. Ramsey on the stop. Give him about four more. Third and what, about six, Jesse? What it looks like to me. Running back had a good head of steam. Bodie did a good job getting up, up, up field and just making, uh, grabbing a running back's foot. Trip to the left this time, with Johnson lined up to the left of G. Pass play, thrown, caught. Going to be a touchdown. Lamb fear from G to Timian. 441 here in the first. Well, they just marched right down the first time they go to the first air. pass. Yeah. Yep. Six nothing. Point after here. Looks like they'll go for one. Here's a replay. Nice drawn up play. Wide open across the middle there. Colton Critch for the point after. Holder is Hamill. Got it off and it looks good from here. It is seven nothing, Lamphere Rams on top. Opening drive of the game. Boy, at 4.41 left there in the, in the first quarter, Craig. That took quite a bit of time off the clock. Yeah. Pretty methodical. See if they kick it deep. That's the thing, you don't know if, uh, you know, if they watch enough film, they say, no, we're not gonna run that risk, or you get people, even from the area, know the potency of the of the starburst that decide that we're just gonna try it. Yep, so. Deep for the Mariners, Maluski, along with Austin Brown, Danny Vandeviver, and Parker Atkinson. Critch to kick.
What's the holdup? <laughs> I see an official here talking to the trainer on the far left. Huh. It's like maybe the official may have got roughed up a little bit being attended to by uh, Corey May. Oh, okay. Mariner's trainer. That's actually an official timeout. <laughs> official, <laughs> official, all right. So here we go. Mariners see if they can get their offensive started here. High and short. Landed about the 33. Mariners will kneel on it from the 34-yard line, first and 10, Marine City. Cooper Letson on the uh, the quick grab and the knee there for the Mariners. Far hash mark. You said earlier, Craig, week six already. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. It is. Okay, see what Lincoln Osterlin and the offense can do here. Evan Jones, a fullback, Kamalewski, the halfback. Got a false start already. Far side there. That's what it looks like. I didn't see anything on the Mariners, but they did definitely rush up the line like, you know, they've normally done, which shouldn't be an issue. No, they're going the other way. Somebody yeah. lined up in the neutral yeah, zone. Yeah, encroachment. Okay. First and five from the 39. Checking in for the Mariners, Blunden and Austin Brown. <laughs> Coming near side right towards us, Brown. Lost about three. Just tried to get to the outside. There's nothing quite there for him. So to bring up a second and seven. From the 37. Left side gets back to about the 40. Picks up three, third and five. Again, definitely a longer third down that you'd like to see yep. this early in the game. Parker Atkins in right. Boy, there's a late flag here. No, oh, off sides. Again. Off sides. It's going to be a first down. Yep, another encroachment by the defense. That's sort of a crazy penalty when you think about it. Um, yeah, because the ball's sitting there, right? Yeah. So you, it's now it's no surprise where you're supposed to line up. First and 10 from the 46 yard line for the Mariners. Left side, Maluski. Somebody lost their helmet. <laughs> Colin Gabler. He's going to have to come off for a play here. Got two helmets off. Maluski comes off as well. Atkinson to the left. Letson to the right. Handoff, first man through, about three, just about midfield, just short, maybe the 49. You got a couple there. It's 66, Steyer, the lead blocker. Third and six is what it looks like for me, just shy of midfield. Got another flag here. Same thing. Wow. wow. How does that happen? Three out of what, about six plays? <laughs> yeah. How do you keep lining up in, in the neutral zone? I don't, I don't understand. Five yards. So that's going to get the Mariners, what, a third and one, Craig? Yeah. yeah. Encroachment on the defense. The five yard penalty, still third down. Third and two. 
I tell you, you don't you don't get that penalty no. and you hold the Mariners, boy, you almost force them to punt at this right. point. Not much there. Right about midfield, going to bring up fourth and about a yard. Number five, Anwar Sufian, found a Terry carry for the Mariners. That Rams defensive end just basically took a step past the line of scrimmage and was just there ready yeah. for him. Blunden checks in. Atkinson comes off. Five, oh, Sufian, yeah. 40, inside to about the 37-yard line. Excellent job there by the offensive line, opening that hole up, getting Anwar a chance to get the first down and then some. Chains will move. They'll spot it at the 37, far side hash mark. Two wideouts right, two men in the backfield. First guy through right side, got a little breathing room there. Evan Jones, oh, Anwar Safian. Yeah, again, Anwar on, on the carry. Give him about seven, second and three. In that Rams defensive line, they're pretty big boys, but if yeah. you can figure out a scheme to block them or figure out a way they're cheating, I mean, once you get past them, those linebackers are playing back a little bit. It's easier to pick up a few yards. Let's and right. Hand off up the middle. Stays on his feet. Cross to about the 28-yard line. Going to be a third and short. Good job again by Anwar to stay on his feet there after initial contact. Ended up turning a positive play, giving the Mariners a relatively short third and two. Full house backfield. Safian again. again, got the first down. Cross to about the 26. About a half a step from busting yep. that thing outside. Yep. There wasn't anybody open over, over there waiting for him. First and 10, ball spotted at the 26 yard line. We're right in the middle of the field. Atkinson comes back in, Brown's in. Letson comes off. Atkinson will go left. Got a sweep. Can't wait. Still on his feet. Inside the 25. Gonna give him about four. Again, all those yards were made after initial contact, Craig. Just good heart, good running. Had three or four. <laughs> Lead blockers there for the Mariners for him. End of the first quarter wow, score there for the Rams of Lamphere High School, seven, Marine City, zero. And we will come up with a second and seven from the 23 yard line. Thought about a job, finding a place to work that's close to home, a place that cares about you and your family? Well, Magnus Hyrick. Hi, my name is Jennifer Riley. I'm the Human Resources Manager here at Magna Electric Vehicle Structures in St. Clair. Our team is growing fast, our facility is expanding, and we're looking to hire about 900 new, new team members. So if you're interested in opportunities in engineering, skilled trades, production operation, or any other position, you can go to magna.com slash careers. That's magna.com slash careers. North Star Bank, your local community bank serving St. Clair, Sadlack, Huron, and Washtenaw County. When you need a local community bank for home loans, checking, savings, and other banking needs, North Star Bank is the community bank that you want to deal with. The bank that will take care of all your personal and business needs. North Star Bank has a new mobile application that you can download to make banking even easier. North Star Bank, guiding the way. Member FDIC. Here we go, start of the second quarter. Second and six from the 22 for the Mariners. As we start off the second quarter. Maluski left. 
Gets inside the 20 to about the 16, maybe 15. Picking up another key first down for yep. the Mariners. Whole first quarter basically was a possession and a half. Yeah. That time Cam doing a good job. They got outside. I, I think they were trying to maybe spread that <laughs> defensive line out a little bit. Maluski along with Evan Jones in the backfield. Pass play, Atkinson inside to about the 10. Still on his feet. They're going to mark him at the 12. Give him four yards, second and six. Atkinson right. Up the gut. Three Inside to about the seven, Evan Jones on the carry. First and goal from the five. Blunden in, Atkinson comes off. Time out, uh, time Rams, 11.06 second quarter. Mariners with a first and goal from the five. Probably a pretty wise time out there. I would think so, yeah. With anybody yep. coming in with a first and goal. First time out of the night for either team. See Coach Letson talking to his offense. I think you get down there. Yeah, granted, it's it's first down, but, I mean, if that had been second or third, I think e either team could have taken a timeout there and yep. it would have been a, a good time. Maluski along with Jones in the backfield. First guy through, Jones in for oh. a touchdown. Evan Jones, five yards out. Mares on the scoreboard for the first time tonight. That's a good, a good effort right there, Craig, because it wasn't like he was untouched. He probably made initial contact right around the three-yard line, just kept those legs turning, forced his way into the end zone with two rams on his shoulders. Point after. Got it off just in time. We're good, tied up at seven apiece. From Spencer Sanchez on the extra point. So one possession, e one possession each here, Craig. With so only 11 minutes left in the second. Yeah, we were in about 13 minutes, and we've had two drives. If you're an offensive coordinator, you're. Uh, Pushing the run, eh? Yeah. Well, I think it, f from a Ram standpoint, I think it probably does good for your chances if you're going to limit the possessions for the Mariners. Right. Uh, the Mariners, you, you need your defense just to come out, you know, put a little more pressure on that run game and um, come out and just control the ball a little more with your offense, even though they, they did a, a great job there, that, that series to go down and score like they did. Sanchez to kick. High and deep. Line at about the 13-yard oh, line. Runs himself out. out of bounds with a balancing act at about the 17-yard line. Yeah, probably would have been better off let that ball go, <laughs> hey? But that's all right. Rams will come out with their offense. Mariner defense looking. Stop them. Turn it back over.
Spotted right at the 17, first and 10. Quincy Jr. to the far side. Here's a wide out. Up. Got a, what do we got? Another yeah, flag false down. Start. False start. Another Rams penalty. That'll be four for them for the night. Four or five, Craig, already? We had, I think there was three encroachments on yeah. that last one, and now we've got an offensive one here. Five-yard penalty makes it first and 15 from the 12. Got one wide out right and one left. In the backfield, Johnson. Yeah, he was dancing a little bit there. Just driving him back. Whack. Whistle's finally blown back at the five. Looks like they're going to mark him. About, what, the 10 and a half, the 11? This line of scrimmage, the way it looks. Yeah. Second and 15. Timmy and War Timmy and in Hamill near side. Quarterback rolling, rolling. Throws it out of bounds and no, nobody near it. Nope. But good pursuit by number 11. And uh, let's see, 84 Colin Gabler and number 11. Noah Ross. Noah Ross, yeah. For the Mariners defense putting the pressure on him. Third and 16. Aiden G, the quarterback. First time he's faced with anything a long yardage like this. Again, you get these long downs like this, they almost force it to go to the air, especially on the third down here. Yep, G with Johnson lined up next to him, trips to the left. Pass play long, Ooh. nice job defensively. Intended that time for number two, Timian. Bring up a fourth and long. The ball kind of tipped there. Almost a chance for an interception there yep. for the Mariners. Going to line up the kick from about the five. Maybe even closer in yet. Or from the 11. No, going to be in the end zone. Quarterback is the kicker. Lined up two yards deep. Remember, set to receive about the 40. Atkinson. I think it's Austin Brown. Lined up at about the 40. G, the quarterback, is the kicker. Good snap. High kick, fairly short. Out of bounds here before. Ooh. Takes a Mariner bounce. Right out of bounds at about the 35 yard line. 36, first and 10, Moraine City. Their second possession of the night. A short field opportunity here for the Mariners. So both teams scoring on their opening possession, yeah. right, Craig? And now uh, the Mariners defense forces a punt. Mariners come out. Letson and Atkinson to the far right side from the shotgun is Lincoln Osterlin. Handoff this time, Jones. Three or four. Brought down by number 52 for the Rams. Logan Henkel. Give him four, second and six. Ball spotted right at the 33-yard line. Osterlin rolls, throws, caught. Atkinson inside the 25, going to be another Mariner first down. 
Just a nice route there yep. by Parker, and you know, good anticipation by um, Lincoln, just rolling out, knowing that Parker's going to basically run that that J route, come back to the ball. Good and job, knew exactly where the sticks were, and in a good spot where you're really not in too much danger, right? First and ten. Spotted at right at the 25. Left side, Maluski inside the 20 to about the, what, 17? Yeah, Cam did a good job right there, putting his head down, kind of reading his blocks ahead of him. Initial contact was made four or five yards past the line of scrimmage. He turned that into a nice play. Second and one. Maluski left, got first down inside to about the nine. We got a flag on the far side of the field. Somebody with too many men on the field now. I didn't see anybody running off far side, no. so I'm going to assume that's going to be a penalty on us, Craig. They are talking to the defense. Illegal participation. On the defense, mm. to have the distance to the goal line be enough for a first down. Yeah. It wasn't us after all. <laughs> <laughs> so it'll be first and goal for the Mariners from the five. Atkinson right, Letson left. Got another oh, flag. Dead ball foul. The officials were not ready to officiate the game. It's a five-yard penalty, still first down. I've never heard of such a thing of you. I don't how, remember how, yeah, how, do you, how do you get a penalty? I've never heard of that. A penalty for starting too soon? Usually they just blow the whistle, blow the, gate, the play off. Wow. Another got penalty. Another. Number nine, Nicholas Rafino with the carry. Number five, Nico Johnson with the tag, but there is a flag on the play. There's no flag. I think they're waving it off. <laughs> I don't understand the last one. Sideline warning. Yeah, I think they're giving the officials pretty good about not being ready on the last play. I mean, the, the, the off, you come from the sideline, you get ready to run your play, the officials should be in position. What, are they going to wait and let the defense get organized like right. that? I don't understand that one. So we'll be first. Yeah, play never happened. So it's first and goal from the 10. <laughs> Interesting. Breaking the action here. 8 and 47, as it says on your screen. I'm Craig Zimmerman. He's Jesse Laboon. Wayne Lepla, our spotter. Thank you to everybody in the booth tonight. Kenny Young, I don't know. Let's see if it gets, they'll, they'll let me know. I know uh, Kenny Young's in there in the booth. Carter Barney's in the booth. I think Troy Voigt, Ben Stokes, we'll see. I'll get a text if it's not right. <laughs> Thank or you if, to add, or if, to add, if you have to add anybody. And Bruce Holiday and Paul Dingaman. Thank you anyway to everybody. Second and goal from the eight. It looked like they were offsides. A little stumble by Lincoln last time. Staying on his feet. Inside to about the five. Have three or four on the play. On what was potentially a broken play. Nope. Bring up a third and goal from the six. Two man backfield. Unbalanced line left. Maluski yeah, inside. Carry. Oh, I think he got there on that third no, effort. They're saying down at the one. That was really, really. Wow. He did a great job of getting his shoulder down and reaching for that goal line. I can't there. believe he didn't get there. Get in there. Got in there that time. From the one. Fourth and goal from the one. Mares on top, 13 zip. As they come in for the point after. 
Here's a replay. Offense getting ready in a and good, a, a, yep. you know, good job by the offensive line there. You, you know what's it's coming. Set. Yeah, right. they're, they're, they're bunched up tight. They know what's coming right between the tackles. Stop us if you can. Fourth and one. Mariners make it happen. Sanchez for the point after. Holder, Cooper Letson. <laughs> Got an offside. <laughs> It's going to be offside on the defense, it looks like. They picked the tee up. They may go for two here. Half the distance Dead of the ball. goal. Encroachment. Wow. Defense. That's like about the fifth Five one tonight. Yeah. Half the yeah. Of the goal line. We'll retry the try. They'll be going for two here, I assume. Here we go. There we go, two points. There it is. Is that Maluski? Maluski again, yep. touchdown and the two-point conversion. 15-7, Mariners on top. It's one of those plays, it up. if you don't make it, it's not a good call. Right. If you make it, you're the king. Yeah. <laughs> well, and, and again, a testament to the offensive line. Yeah. It's two plays in a row. I mean, Cam got up there. There was some, con, uh, some congestion there, but... Yep. Uh, he basically walked in there untouched, just had to squeeze through the offensive lineman, making the hole for him. Coach Scarcelli talking to the defense, talking to special teams. There's a Mariner crew on the fence row. Got to watch out now with that mobile camera, Craig. Yep. Nobody's safe. Yeah. Sanchez to kick. High and deep to about the 16. Up to about the 34-yard line. Bodie Ramsey yep. on the tackle for the Mariners. First and 10 Rams from the 34-yard line. Far side hash mark. Is this the Rams' third possession of the game, Craig? I think yep. that's it, right? Yep. Scored the first, stopped the second. Got a new center, Wayne says. Two wide outs right. Aiden G from the gun. Hand off. Johnson, number five, behind the line of scrimmage. Oh, quick. You know, that's backfield. the play that got four or five yards on the first drive. About Noah, five times. And yeah, Noah Ross was back there quick. He met him. Got to see uh, what the other Mariner was. Had him contained on the far side. Basically caught, caused him to hesitate, come to the near side. Noah had him contained. Sideline camera there. Bring up a second and 13 from the 31. Nice cool breeze coming in the window. Beautiful fall night. Yep. Timion and Ham will come out near side. Johnson next to G from the shotgun. Ooh, a little high. It's rolling. Nothing. Nothing, no. Nope. Throws it away. Heavy, heavy pursuit for Owen Jacobs there. Calling for the intentional grounding there. Yeah, and Owen Jacobs had him had a beeline, had number one there. Running for his life. And a good good job downfield by the secondary covering all the routes. Yeah. There's a reason he's not throwing it. You know, everybody's out there doing their job. Third and thirteen from the thirty one. As you can see, clock stop with just under seven minutes remaining in the first half. Good looking to Mariner marching band here in full force tonight. And they're marching whites. Wide out to the left, two of them. Johnson wind up to the left of G. 
Uh, Mariner jumped off sides. It's on Jeremy Westrick on that one, anticipating the count. That'll bring up a third and nine. Dead ball, encroachment, defense. The five yard penalty, still third down. Third and eight. I was right the first time. <laughs> Two wideouts left. This time it'll be Timian and Klaus. Gee, back. Throws it deep. Deep, Ooh, deep. Jump duck. ball. Nope, over the heads. Incomplete. May have had a chance, but that thing was just wobbling yeah. in the air. Just didn't get any distance. Let's see what they do here. Fourth and long. I'm assuming they'll punt, but... Again, thrown into pr almost triple coverage here on the far side. You know what's interesting? I noticed, um, I can't remember the, what they called it, but when the Mariners punted a couple times this year, once against St. Clair, they do the little uh, um, pooch punt where they don't line up deep. Atkinson would line up midline, let them rush, give them a little time, then boot it. Yeah. Gets a little more time coverage. Deep for the Mariner, Brown and Atkinson. They call that a rugby style. Yeah, it, rugby, it almost yep. looks like you yep. know. You almost look like you have the option to right. run a fake punt, but then if you have an athlete like Parker that can. Uh, oh, almost got through on that one. High kick it on the run. Caught. Fair catch by Atkinson at about the 31-yard line. Mariners will take over six and 43 left in the second, hoping to capitalize three times in a row. Friday night from East China Stadium. What's well, been a offensive running game on both sides of the ball, so the clock's been running pretty quick. As it's been a very, very fast, what, three quarters of the first half here? Yep. Malewski and Jones in the backfield. Osterlin under center. Pass play. Ooh, Looking we got deep. Parker wide got open him. Too. 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 10. Touchdown. Atkinson. Wow, what a beautiful pass. Lincoln Osterlin to wide receiver Parker Atkinson on a 69, 68 yard touchdown pass. Here's the replay. Which is an awesome route. Yeah. You know? Get Parker out there one-on-one, right on one, just runs right by him. Once he catches the ball, yep. uh, no, it's going to be hard-pressed to catch him. 21-7, ready for the point after. Sanchez to kick. Letson to hold. A little high. Got it up. Good, 22-7, Mariners on top. That didn't take long. No, it didn't, one play. You know, you, you, you bait them, you bait them, you, right. you stay between the tackles all game, and you kind of watch kind of what the secondary is doing. You get Parker there on the near side of the field, one-on-one, -on -one, yeah. run that little slant. As soon as he gets any separation. He's a sprinter. Yeah, and yeah. Lincoln did an excellent job just putting that ball right on stride, and then uh, the rest is history. Sideline camera getting a close-up view. Down a degree to 65. Say it's only going to go down a couple more degrees maybe at the end of the night. Spencer Sanchez, the junior kick once again. Klaus and Timian. Klaus far side again. I think he's uh, instructed to keep it to the sideline. 
Yeah, he hasn't ventured too far away from where he catches the ball. Tries yep. to run that far sideline up. No Ross on the stop. First and 10 Rams. From the 27 yard line. Where is. Can I already tell you, Craig? What? I'm going to say right around 13 mile and John R. Yeah. How did I do? No. You're 13 mile and I 75. West of DeQuinder. Yeah, it's the <laughs> general area. Right. <laughs> two to the right, two to the left. G from the gun. Johnson next to him. <laughs> I think a false start or? I yeah. think the delay game, it was at zero. Typically what he's going to call back there. <laughs> Dead ball. Do we have game? Jeez. Especially coming off the of kickoff. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's tough. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Yep. That is that is crazy. <laughs> and it's not like you have an excuse. You've no. got a six-foot by five-foot clock going on the field. but Then you're coming uh, off a kickoff. Again, you know, we've been guilty of the same thing. A little bit of hesitation, a little bit of confusion. Next thing you know. Same formation, two right, two left. Johnson lined up next to G. Pass play right away. Caught. Well, Might have got he, four might. yards back. Looks like he got four to five. Looks like he even got back to the original line of scrimmage yeah. there. Jeremy Westrick putting a pretty good lick on the quarterback after that ball was delivered. Those are the things that you know you're all you're all used to watching the the ball and where it goes, but you watch what happens after. Right. A couple of those you may start <laughs> second. You're hearing footsteps Here. after a little bit. Yeah. Second and ten from the twenty-seven. Pass play behind the line of scrimmage, caught to about the line of scrimmage. Did not have the Mariners fool at all on that one. Parker Atkinson yep. in yep. on the tackle, number 14 for the up, Mariners. Yeah, bring up third and 10. So even after that initial series there by the Rams where they pretty much had their run game control whatever they wanted to do, Mariners have forced a punt, and now it looks like the you know the Rams are pressured to go to the air time and time again. Same formation. No, no, we got two wide right, really, and a slot left. Johnson lined up to the right of the quarterback, got a man in motion. Pass play, caught. You're not going to get a first down. Picks up about five or six. Going to bring up a fourth and about four. Just a crossing pattern, trying to find a little bit of that yep. weak spot in between the, the safeties and the linebackers. Band of Iver in on the stop. Fourth and four, five, it's pretty much, yeah. I think it's foolish. It, uh, they're going to go for it, Craig, but, I mean, this game really isn't out of reach yet. 454 left here in a second. Right, give it up to him there. Yeah, if you get stopped here, I mean, you give the Mariners easy field position two again. Two right and two left this time. He doesn't hesitate. Throws. Caught. Going to oh, be a first down. I think down. it's going to get a one. Yep. Yeah. Brought down by 22. Judd Brown and Nick Rafino. Change will move. Looks like a Good play call in that one. Yeah, decent run by, uh, route by the receiver as well. Yeah. Know exactly where the sticks are. Maybe get a year, uh, yard past it. All you got to do is secure the ball, and you've got a first down, which is exactly what they did. Same two, uh, two right, two left. Johnson to the left. Gee, a little high. Oh, Ooh. almost. Got a... Got a penalty marker down behind the line of scrimmage. Yeah, just as Owen Jacobs had just a bead on the quarterback. There is a flag on the play. We'll see what the flag is. He had a head of steam going there. Yeah, looks like he was going to get him. During the pass, holding on the offense. The 10 yard penalty for the previous spot. Still first down. I'm going to bring up a first and 20 from the. 29. <coughs> this 
time we got trips to the near side. Johnson lined up to the right of the quarterback towards the receivers. He goes in motion. Pass play to Johnson, caught. Got some room. Gonna give him about nine on the play. Maybe eight. Atkins, Atkinson on the stop. With Bodie Ramsey. Here's the inside crew in the uh, trailer. Look at them all. And they're not eating pizza either. Oh, Maybe it, there's, there's the head man, Paul. <laughs> Second and 11 from the 38 yard line. Two to the near side. Man goes in motion. Pass play caught. Give him about three or four. Timmy. Oh. He's hurt. Right. Number two. Going off. Helmet off. Limping. <laughs> Hopping. Hopping. <laughs> Going to bring up a third and six. Quarterback looking for a play. Four seconds left on the play clock. That's yeah, the two uh, one. Got it. Got Barely it run play near side. Going to be close. Could be about a two yard short. Going to bring up a fourth and a the end. There's no. He might have it. Anwar Sufian in on the tackle. I'm going to mark him short, I think. He's short by about a yard. Yeah. Fourth and a yard. They're going to go for it. It was for almost, it. yeah, that was almost the uh, delay of game there. And yeah. if you got a player hurt, I mean, there's no there's no reason to run across the field. Right. You know, go down. They'll, they'll get you off. I mean, give you a little time to regroup. Fourth and one from the 48. Right in front of us. Handoff going to be in the Ooh. backfield. No, I don't think he's not. Oh, they're going to they're going to get a face mask. Yeah, I think so. I think got a hand up in the mask. Oh, on a great, great oh, yeah. containment. Stop. Yeah, I mean you I get know. up there. I don't. We'll see what they're going to throw here. I don't think he grabbed the face mask, but it's going to be a first down if it is, regardless of what it is. We'll hear the announcement well, here from the official. Which, where they spotting it? If it's a five yarder. Yeah, it looks like it'll be a. Incidental? Yeah, I don't think it was. He, I didn't see his face really move. I think it was just hands into the. That's a horrible call. Jeez, oh During the run, five yard face yeah. mask on the defense. I mean. By rule, since it happened in the backfield, we will go from the previous spot. First down, Lanfear. Wait for the whistle. I wonder what the free play uh, shows. It looks like his face mask went up a little bit. Yeah, I don't think he grabbed it by no, any means. No. But that's a five yarder. First and 10 from the 46 yard line. Quarterback keeper. Not much, yard, maybe two. Well, we got five or six mirrors in on that tackle. Number 11, I saw peel out of there. Noah Ross is one of them. Timeout. Number eight, Danny Vandeviver. Looks like it. Yep, timeout the Rams. Minute 21 left in the half. They're bringing up a second and six when we come back here. As we talked about earlier, um, the issue at hand is we are home tonight, then on the road next week at Clintondale. Then back for the following two weeks, center line on October 13th and Duran to finish out the regular season on the 20th of October. Center line being the homecoming game here. Yep.
Here we go, second and eight from the 44. Well, if you're the Rams, you want to, obviously you want to score, but if you don't score, you want to eat up the clock. Yes. You don't want to give it back to the Mariners. Two wide outs to the near side in front of us. Johnson to the right of the quarterback. He goes in motion. Pass play deep. Oh, wide, wide open, open too. It's going to be a touchdown. Missed, uh, missed opportunity, missed uh, coverage on that one. Yeah, for He's sure. Wide open. Was that a 43-yard, 44-yard? 44 yards to number 22, Jaden Klaus. Here's a replay. Yeah, you got two wideouts on the side, and he just streaks, and there's yeah. nobody that it stays with him. Makes it a ball game, doesn't it? It sure does. You don't see that too often in the mirror defense. No, you don't. <laughs> You're exactly right. <laughs> So to see him wide open like that, you knew yeah, something was up. Two-point conversion here. Got wide outs to the right, two of them. Johnson to the right of the quarterback, G. Rolling, got a penalty marker down, throwing it up. No, incomplete, but let's see what happens here. May have had a chance for that receiver in the back end zone. But I think this is going to be on the offense. No good. No good. Mariners to receive the ball here on the kickoff before halftime. So we got the one minute offense test here. And sort of a different first half. Different in the way that uh, Rams came out, mounted a serious ground attack to score first. Ate up a lot of the clock. Mariners come back, score, stop them, score, stop them. Then where you think you've got a, a stop here, you've got... <laughs> Yeah, a penalty, you get a first pass, down, yeah, yeah, and then you've got a wide open pass play, G to Monroe there in 44 yards. Two point conversion was no good. Either way, was it by, by virtue of a penalty? It wasn't good anyway. Puts so us here. Yep, nine point lead. 22 13, Mariners on top, 114 left in the second. If you're buying squares, you're not usually buying with threes and twos there. <laughs> I don't know what kind of squares you're buying, Craig. I've never had my the pick of the, what squares. They usually give it to you I after. know. I'm just saying, I'm just though. kidding, yeah. You got the numbers. Th yeah. Threes and twos like that are really not. Crazy things happen. Yeah, yeah. Critch, the kicker. Pretty good kick. Going to go to the end zone? Sure is. <laughs> Better. <laughs> yeah. Flat kick, but definitely got yeah. there. Mariners will start. Minute 14 here left in the second from their own 20. In a one-minute offense. Nope, not 20. 20. Where are we putting it here? 20. That's what I thought. Yeah. Official kept walking with it. Chains <laughs> guys didn't. Yeah. They're following him. Yeah. So here we go. Two wideouts right. Atkinson and Letson, Two-man backfield, Jones and Maluski. Let's just hope the referees can keep up. Yep. And they, oh, nice job getting out. Oh, oh. Man, just about an inch and a half too far. Atkinson yeah, had right it on the fingertips, yeah. You know, when that, when See, that ball was watch, in the air, watch, I didn't think he had a chance, but he Lincoln, caught up to that thing in watch a hurry. Him, watch, oh, if we get this on a replay, watch him. Fade back and then jump back into the pocket. I don't mm -hmm. think we got it. But, um. And again, throwing it to yeah. where Parker's going to be, not where he's at. Maluski up the middle. Give him about three. Maybe four. Clock ticking, as you can see. Third and seven. 
Rams with one timeout, Mariners with two. And one at wide out right is Atkinson. Maluski, cut back. Got a first down and then some. Up to about the 34 yard line. Clock will stop for the set the chains. I think we're going to take a timeout here. Yep. yep. Got, Coach got Darren Lessons says a timeout. Might as well use them. Good job by Cam securing that ball. Just pretty shifty once he gets into that yeah. the secondary. You know, just kind of reads which what direction the defense is flowing and makes his cuts accordingly. Look at the uh, Rams defensive side and the Mariners offensive side here. Coach Letson talking to the offense. Probably giving him a couple plays. Yeah, there's really no time to regroup in there, right? So Maybe. I would think the first couple, Craig, would be shots at the end zone, right? Or, or, or long downfield passes anyway. It's incomplete, clock stops, yeah. you can regroup. We got trips, trips on the near, near side, side yeah. one to the far side. From the shotgun, Osterlin. It's going deep. No, not even close. Nope. I think it'll be second and ten. Clock stops, so they don't have to worry about time, so. Yep. Here we go, second and ten. Two to the near side, one to the far side. Left side, maybe a couple yards. Kevin Jones it. on the carry. Down, down by number eight. Second and eight with 17 seconds. Are we going to play another play? I think so. Doesn't look like it. Nope, we're heading in. Heading into halftime so, with a 22-13 lead. Jesse will go for the scoring. Yeah, so at 441, Rams put themselves on first on the board first. 14-yard pass to Greg G to Quincy. Uh, Timian, extra point was good. Hamill, extra, extra point. 0-7 was the score. And in the seven, second quarter, Jones five yards out. Spencer Chance Sanchez added the extra point. 7-7. Seven, seven. Then 7-54 from one year out. Cam Aluski, um, had a one-yard touchdown run and also added the two-point conversion. Uh, that's putting the Mariners up 15 to seven. Then Osterland Atkinson on a 68 yard pass at 633 in the second quarter. Sanchez added the extra point as well. That gave us a 22 seven. And then G to Monroe, 44 yard pass, a wide open touchdown at 114 in the second quarter. Two point conversion was no good. That puts us at your halftime score, 22 to 13. And we will see you after the break. If you want to stay, if you love music, hit it play at the good old Murphy Inn. At the good old Murphy Inn. Looking for a great spot to enjoy lunch or dinner with fantastic daily food and happy hour specials? Look no further than the Murphy Inn in St. Clair. This is Paul, owner of the Murphy Inn. Our chiming Irish pub features different food and drink specials every day of the week, plus live entertainment every Wednesday through Saturday. The inn even offers seven unique hotel rooms complete with modern amenities, perfect for overnight stays or a weekend getaway. There ain't no doubt we're going out to the good old Murphy Inn. Thought about changing your job, finding a place to work that's close to home, a place that cares about you and your family? Well, Magna's hiring. Hi, my name is David McCurdy. I work here at the Magna Electric Vehicles in St. Clair. I am a leak test lead working for production. Really enjoy coming to work every day. Uh, new opportunities to and different challenges each and every day. If you're looking for a great place to work, you got a great group of people here from the top down. Um, the culture is amazing. There's lots of opportunities to move up, um, and we're still growing. 